Raheem the Rabbit back at it again with another quick reaction video, and welcome to the rabbit hole. Thank you. Thank you. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor at this time, smash the like button, also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get alerted when I upload new content. Uh, today's video, we have Tyrese's ex-wife, uh, Miss Samantha Lee. She has some uh, tell-all <laughs> things that she's been discussing with this podcaster, and she she gave her piece. Um, I'll say this much. Unfortunately, in the black community, you know, we have a low marital rate, right? And it's very sad when you uh, meet a woman and you're going to marry her and you think you're going to sail off into the sunset and then you get divorced uh, by irreconcilable differences. So as much as I'm an advocate for, you know, black love and staying together to your gray and old, I do take into consideration reality. So things happen. So without further ado... Let's jump right into this video in three, two, one. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. So how did you know that divorce was the right option for you in your relationship? Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. So I... First off, what I want to say in general, we know that women file for divorce more often than not. Boy, that escalated quickly. I think a lot of times we do it out of hurt, out of anger, um, unforgiveness. And, but it's, it's, um, it's a lot of unforgiveness. And that unforgiveness, if it's left unforgiven, turns into bitterness. And that bitterness can build a fence and that fence becomes it becomes very hard to feel um when you build that wall up and it's an evil world we live in i was very <clears throat> very hurt what do you mean by that i was very angry and i remember like when i made like the the decision i was like hysterically crying damn on the phone with my attorney <laughs> you motherfuckers ain't ready for this that was not wow. the person i should have been on the phone with when like that's a whole nother conversation but anyway i was hysterically crying and i was not in any position to make that decision. I was extremely emotionally intoxicated. Huh? Mm. We can be intoxicated with our emotions and I'm one, I'm very much emotionally led. I feel very strongly. I'm just that kind of person, very passionate. But um, I would never tell somebody to make that decision when they're that emotional. Bullshit? A bullshit, a bullshit. But of course I was, and I wasn't talking to someone that genuinely would be for marriage, you know, or, or for reconciliation. And that's not, to, that's not no slight to my, you know. No, it's, the, it's the current, the current it's not, Yeah, it has nothing, there's no slight to that. It, not the friends, but I was on the phone with my attorney. Yeah. So it, it was something that was being said to me that hurt me at that time. And that, um, so at that time when I was on the phone and I made that decision, I was, I was, I was, I was livid. I was emotional. I was hysterical. And so I, if, if anything, if I could take anything from that and advise somebody else, because I don't want families to be torn apart. That's a fact. Yeah. It would be that if you're that hurt and you're like that emotional about someone, that's not a lack of love. Like the opposite of love is not hate. It's indifference. Man, shut the f up. Huh? Shut up. 
a few moments later. In regards to how abrasive uh, my marriage ended, you know, my ex-wife just like woke up and just said, I'm out. And I still don't know why to this day. And Damn. Going back to that situation, do you think, do you still try and figure out why? Or do you just kind of like ignore it? Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out why. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, those are real problems. Facts. Yeah. Facts. 100%. So it's uh, it's uh, the feeling that never cheated, never cheated, never cheated, never physically abused her. Everybody have their share of disagreements and arguments, mm -hmm. but everyone, including myself, who was in the marriage, if there was any obvious thing that was either said or done that could make somebody say, you know what, I'm out of here. Emotional damage. I'm, I don't really know when that moment presented itself. You don't find that suspicious. You don't find that suspicious. And so it's the confusion of, of like me knowing like as a man, I wanted to do that for the rest of my life. Yeah. I was like, I was like, yeah, I will have no teeth left in my mouth and me and my wife will be feeding each other mashed potatoes and rocking in a chair laughing and laughing at stuff that nobody would understand but me and my wife. That's what I seen and envisioned. And so I got married to do it for the rest of my life. That's a fact. Goodbye. Let me know if this video was a hit or miss. Leave your comments down below. Also remember to hit that like and subscribe button on the way out. I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah.